Hey everybody, Brian here from quantlabs.net. Uh, just wanted to talk about Yahoo Finance using their data service. There is a script here at the bottom on how to retrieve data from Yahoo. And also I'm gonna show you some examples of this script and some Yahoo quotes that we'll get. Okay, first and foremost, this is really important you need to ensure not only grabbing this URL, this link, but actually I would copy and paste this entire text in this post and store it somewhere and keep it around forever and ever, amen, okay? Do not redistribute it, just keep it to yourself, and that's it. I've put up a copy of this for my Quant Elite members so that there is a copy of this, an exact, uh, set of text available for my Quant Leap members behind my paywall. Hmm. All right, the reason I say that is because the original site uh, site or page that had all these codes uh, it has been banned by Yahoo. So basically how it works is with Yahoo Finance, when you go here, and let's say you want to look up Apple. Oops. Yep, okay, oh, that's good enough. We have uh, ways to get all these tags, I guess, so we can get price earning, market cap, volume, open high, low, bid, all that stuff, EPS, and blah, blah, blah. Here, how we do it is we provide the download link, this URL, the quotes, plus, 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 really, really important one, these tags. These tags are really important because that is how we get things like commission, EPS, earnings price per share, uh, earnings um, uh, per share, um, trade data, so and so forth, okay? Market cap, okay? And over time, this will no longer exist, this, this page. And all these tags and codes will go, so you can no longer use what you see here. So again, copy and paste it and, and store it somewhere as your own document but don't publish it. The reason I say that from where these codes came from was from this popular site uh, once upon a time called Gummy Stuff. But guess what? Yahoo sends out notices to sites that do that. I serve as copyright counsel for Yahoo, right, respect, blah, 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 cease and desist. Do take, remove and delete the page uh, and that's it. It will disappear. Happen to Gummy, it will happy happen to this place, uh, this page as well. So again, make sure you copy and paste it. I can't stress that. Okay, knowing that, we have now this script uh, that is available in Python, basically uh, a function that you can use to retrieve the stock quote data. So I've got that here. Uh, it's exactly as is. Um, in my case, I've just added a few more tags at the end of the URL right here. And what I'm grabbing is uh, the EPS as well as the market cap. So all it really does will, um, it's gonna run the exact same way. If I go into my console, you'll get all the data that's available. So in our case, we're getting a, a stock called Suncor. So if I go into Suncor, I can verify that it does work. For instance, if I have my market cap at 28.88 billion, uh, you will notice that it's the same. So it's working as is, and I can grab all my tags or whatever uh, data I want using this link. That's really, really important, okay? So again, I think what I said this four times now, use this uh, page, make sure you get a copy of it and, and store it somewhere for yourself before it gets taken down. Okay, so that is the basic script that we're looking at to retrieve Yahoo data for one particular stock, or as it says here, you can uh, select multiple um, multiple uh, stocks. Okay, uh, hopefully I'll help you out. Talk to you later.